ABSB2 is the Agricultural Biotechnology Support Project. It's a USAID uh, project with a mandate to introduce and commercialize genetically engineered crops in developing countries with a major emphasis of bringing this technology to the resource poor farmers uh, for the benefits that these traits bring. This particular project we're working on here, the Global Biosafety Management Program, is very important for us because one of the hurdles that we have to overcome when we commercialize genetically engineered crops is to go through a, a biosafety uh, program in such a way that we convince everyone of the safety and of the benefits of this technology so that we're able to bring this technology to the resource for farmers. Um, the project is, is being, or this particular workshop is being held in Hyderabad, India right now, but we have people here from Indonesia, we have people here from the Philippines, India and Bangladesh, all areas that are actually even in, from Uganda and uh, East Africa. All these are areas where I work to bring different transgenic crops to the market. This is an educational workshop. It's a, the major emphasis of the workshop is to bring to light all the different aspects of biosafety that need to be addressed to convince people that this is type of technology is in fact beneficial, it's not harmful, it's nothing to be you know, afraid of this technology. Um, we have a growing population in all the, the countries that I work in and food security is a tremendous issue. We have a population that's growing out of control and feeding these people is going to be a difficult task. And so the main emphasis is to uh, use this technology to improve yields, improve nutritional quality, and improve the lives of the mostly the resource poor farmers. Um, and I hope that I'm able to do that here in these countries, um, particularly here in India, where we have several pr projects. We have the BT Brinjal project, which has uh, had quite a bit of coverage in the media. We also have a late blight resistant project here, um, drought tolerant rice, and in other countries we're working on. Uh, disease-resistant bananas, and it's particularly in Africa, uh, and several other crops that we work on. And so our idea is to have those uh, made available within the next several years. Uh, and, that's, and so this is the type of thing that we have to deal with uh, and getting this approved.